So ask me a question. I'm ready. I'm here to talk to you about Twitter and hashtags and how they can be used to help us find reference information online. So when I think of Twitter, I think of current news and trends, and I also find it helpful to see what my social network of librarians and agencies might be focusing on at the time. Although it's a compilation, kind of a mishmash or almost a free-for-all regarding what people are tweeting about, hashtags can help us determine and, and define and refine the search to something that's more relevant for us. So for example, I can look at tweets about an event that is happening in real life. Um, like at a conference and people are tweeting about what's going on at certain workshops that maybe I can't attend or um, I can see the highlights from all the posts from my peers about a, a conference that maybe the whole thing I can't attend. I can also target information like um, information about the Affordable Care Act um, and that's the hashtag ACA or hashtag Obamacare or something weather related or seasonal related um, like hashtag blizzard. I remember reading that some people in New York City had learned about an earthquake before it happened um, and got to their area in 2011. That was that big earthquake that cracked the Washington Monument. And while it was moving its way up north, people were tweeting about, I think this was an earthquake uh, from Virginia. And then in New York, they were almost prepared for it because they were getting this information. So it was kind of interesting. This was hundreds of miles away. So hashtags um, and Twitter is really a quick snapshot uh, and it gives us a way to connect with each other um, that's a little different than listservs or instant messaging. It's kind of a blend of both. Librarians uh, then can share this way and they have another opportunity to spread our findings like spreading our wings more like how a hummingbird does than an eagle but still very powerful thank you for listening